Hello everyone, today I'm here to do another mashup review. If you don't know what mashup reviews are, pretty much I'll take two or more books, depending on how many I've read recently. I'll tell you briefly what I thought about them. Today I'm reviewing two books for you. The first one's going to be The Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty, and the second one's going to be The Singles Game by Lauren Weisenberg. I will leave timestamps down below if you want to watch one or the other, if you want to watch both, that's great. And I will say these both will be spoiler free, so basically what I'm going to do is tell you briefly what I thought about them, what I liked, what I didn't like, and give you a rating. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet and let you know what I thought about these two books. So the first one I'm going to be talking about today is The Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. This is my third Leanne Moriarty book. I've read Pig Little Lies and What Alice Forgot, and this is my third one. And I will say, still, out of those three, What Alice Forgot is probably my favorite of the three, so I'm just letting you know. This is all about a hypnotist named Ellen. She is looking for love. She always feels like she can never find it. She's very content with her life, but she still wants to find that someone. And then she meets this guy named Patrick, and they hit it off immediately. And then Patrick tells her that his ex-girlfriend is actually stalking him. Ellen is really intrigued by the stalker thing, as most women would be kind of turned off by it, kind of scared by it. Ellen's kind of intrigued. She's a blunt. She wants to meet this um, stalker ex-girlfriend, and she actually already has. And that's not spoiling anything. It's in the back of the book for you. So that's basically our whole promise of the book. Having his fall in love, she learns that her boyfriend has a stalker, and her boyfriend also has a child, and he's, and he's also a widow. So we have all that going on. Overall, I like this book. I didn't love it. As with all of Leanne Moriarty's books, they're a quick, fast read. If you want something to read fast and keep you captivated, look no further. Now, I say it will keep me captivated, but when I look back on this story, I didn't love it. I just enjoyed it. Like I said, my favorite Leanne Moriarty book is What Alice Forgot. I just really like that one, and that's the highest rated one I've given, is I've given it a four. The other two have given it a three, as well as this one, I gave it a three. I will say this is one of her lower rated books, and I could see why. I did not enjoy the main character a lot, and that's very rare for me. Usually, I can get on board with the main character because it's our main character but I didn't I was kind of wishy-washy about Ellen all throughout the book I wanted to like her but she had some up and downs I didn't really feel like I was digging her you know as well as her and Patrick's relationship I didn't really feel spark I didn't really feel connection it felt kind of forced kind of fake I don't know if I was the only one that felt that when I read it but I didn't really get the sense that they were in love I didn't really feel it it was just mostly apprehension and nervousness and just kind of fake and it was <sighs> Ellen's the type of person that wants to remain happy all the time and I get that but she's not willing to fight in a relationship because every relationship you're gonna fight. I just didn't really love Ellen and I didn't feel like they were just connecting. I would, this is one of the books, this is one of the few books I've read that I didn't really love the love in it, if that makes sense. I didn't enjoy the relationship. I felt like it was just kind of very off. And the whole stalker thing, we got three, we got two points of view pretty much in this book. We got Ellen and we got Patrick's ex-girlfriend, the stalker. Skatskia, I forget her name. S -s I don't know, I apologize. But it was really interesting to her point of view and she was, you know, she didn't think of herself as a stalker. She was so in love with Patrick. I really, I will say, I did enjoy that part of the book. I love getting her point of view and that and overall I just, I want to say, you could probably pass on this one if you're looking for Leanne Moriarty's book, but I read it in like four days. It's just something about Leanne um, Moriarty's writing that just sucks me in and she tells a good story. Don't get me wrong, I'm invested in the story. It's just at the end I don't feel like really like like I poured my whole heart and soul in this story. I just liked it. If you're looking for a quick summer read, this is probably one for you and if you're looking for, if you're just looking to read tons of Liam Marty books, I will say this is the one for you. But mostly if you're looking to get into her, I would say what else forgot my favorite and I do plan to read The Husband's Secret soon because that's like her most popular book ever so I will read that soon but I'm not sad I've read this at all but I just wish it was more I wish the love wasn't so forced I wish the feelings weren't so under the surface I felt like things could have been said a lot more in this I didn't enjoy the main character or the love interest that's where it really fell flat for me so I gave it a three out of five necessarily did not hate it I just didn't love it as much as I wanted to next up I'm gonna be talking about the singles game by Lauren Weisenberg I was actually sent this to me by quarterly because they're releasing a new box this month and it's a literary box so Lauren Weisenberg's actually curating it and she's sending this book as well as two other books that really inspire her and other things so if you want a link to that box which I highly recommend because it's cool that the author is going to curate it. I will link it down below. But I read this one because I've never read a Lauren Weisenberg book and she wrote The Devil's Product, which I have not read, but 
the movie's one of my favorite movies. It's one of my favorite chick flicks to watch on a rainy day, you know? Can't tell already about the picture on this. It's about tennis. This follows a tennis player named Charlotte. It's really about her trying to move up that ladder and about her finding this new coach that's really a hard, abrasive coach. Now this coach is very, he wants to do a whole image change on her. He wants her not to be the good, the good sweet girl Charlotte's always been, to be actually the warrior princess and he wants to change her image, make her kind of, you know, crazy, do a lot of media stuff. And basically that's what it's about. It's about tennis, throwing in with like a lot of like celebrity type of media stuff. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. I love the world that you got to learn more about tennis throughout this whole world. It was very intriguing learning about that, learning the specific qualifications you have to have and really the strict regimen you have to be on with tennis. Not just tennis, with any sport, obviously if you're a professional, but wow. Wow, that I could never live that life, but kudos to professional out there. They put a lot of time and work and strict and just working out constantly. That's just insane. I love the world we got into with tennis and all that stuff. You know, you get taken to Wimbledon, to US Open, to the French Open, to all these various huge elite tennis matches that, you know, you hear about, but I guess I've never really read about. But I really loved our main character, Charlotte. She is quintessentially, she's a good girl. She's got a good heart. She really loves what she does. She's not in it for the money. She loves tennis. It's her passion. She's young. She wants to do this while she can. And she has this injury in the very beginning of the book that really could set her back a lot. And some people tell her, you know, don't even try, but she wants to try. She This is her life goal, her passion. And so she hires this new coach and he completely changes her image, completely changes everything, makes her work out more. And it's a good and bad thing with this coach because he brings out a really good side in her, but he also brings out this media celebrity stuff that just really was her downfall. And, you know, reading this, you get to see, you start to think a lot, you know, are some couples like fake or real with all just a play for media to get media attention. You really think that when you read this book because you're like, oh, I see it now. And you know, elaborate schemes for media just really shows you how, I don't know, despicable, how diving maybe, I don't know, but that media could do, I mean, we've all known it, but just reading about it really opened my eyes to it more. I'm like, man, these people just, Overall, like I said, I really like Charlotte and um, I really love this book. I will say if you love tennis, pick it up. I think it was true to tennis. I don't know, but I loved our main character. I loved just the journey of tennis, about her dealing with this media crisis, and just, I really did enjoy this book. This is my first Lauren Weisenberg novel, and I'm not disappointed. I definitely want to pick up more of her books, so if you've read any more of them, please let me know. I gave this one a four out of five because I flew through it in like two days, which is, which is really unlike me, but sometimes with chick flicks, I could just eat them up like candy quite literally but like I said I enjoyed this one I think it's a great summer read especially with tennis especially if you love tennis pick this up I said I give it four out of five so I did enjoy it so that was my matchup review of these two books I hope it wasn't too short but I wanted to make it short and sweet and just let you know what I thought about them in general in case you're deciding to pick one of these up let me know if you've read either of these two books I would love to know let me know what you thought about them as well and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe that would mean so much to me I will see you guys next time. Bye. Take your time with me.